Talking about uh, the matter of uh, pre and post election matter and all of it, uh, the governor has said that if this is a temporary setback, and so he's heading to the Supreme Court to address the matter. But from what you see, uh, do you think that um, justice might be done in this case? When you and what ask, would justice be? When you ask what justice would be, or just uh, what, what will happen, mm. I am not one of the judges. I, am, I know. And don't but forget that even as I speak, I don't have all the facts before me. Mm. Now, don't forget that the judgment at the tribunal state is different from what the Court of uh, Appeal, appeal gave. gave yeah. The tribunal still, I mean, uh, 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 validates um, uh, the elections of uh, uh, Mr. Mukfang, the, the governor. But at the Court of Appeal, it's otherwise. Supreme Court, we don't know what may come out. Look at, so let's use Oshun as an example. Mm. At the tribunal, we know who won. At the Court of Appeal, we know who won. Then what happened at the Supreme Court? So you cannot rule it out. The court is, court is, not, is not being run by public opinion or is not being run by sentiment. Mm. Whatever is before court yeah, is what, the, yeah, that, that is what court looks at. So it can get to the Supreme Court. Court can uphold the judgment of the Court of Appeal and court can say, no, judge of, uh, Court of Appeal, you goofed. That's Supreme Court now. That's the APS court in our land. The Supreme Court can say, well, Court of Appeal, you goofed in this regard. We go back to the judgment of the tribunal. And they, you know, validate. I mean, the election of, uh, I mean, uh, the of the governor. So it can go either way. either way. But for me, if I'm one of the judges, if I look at what is before me uh, from the judgment of from, of court of appeal, it's a clear, it's a clear yes for me. Even though the lower court ruled otherwise, affirmed the election yeah, of you know, uh, Governor Caleb. Why do people? Why do people appeal? Judgment. Mm. We've seen situations where someone had, someone won at the, uh, I mean, uh, the lower court, got to court of appeal, he won, and he got to Supreme Court, and it was overturned. But would it make it, it easier? Overturned. Would it be an easier burden on the Supreme Court if both lower courts had ruled on uh, on an issue, like in the Plateau State example? Now, if the law, the tribunal, and the court of appeal had, you know, nullified, for example, now the election of. Caleb Mufwang on the issue of him not being validly nominated and sponsored. Would it be easier for the Supreme Court now if both courts had ruled, uh, you know, similarly? Hmm. No, no. Okay. You know, it doesn't work that way. Okay. Supreme Court will still have to do his job, due diligence. It will not say because the tribunal, the court of appeal, affirm the same, uh, uh, the same judgment. So automatically, I'm going to rub a stamp the judgment of the two um, uh, courts. No, it doesn't work that way. The Supreme Court will have to do his homework also, do his research also. Even though see, there is no time, even though there is no time really, this time bound and all that. It, of course, they have to work within the time. You see, that judgment came on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So that happens. When you know there is no time, you have to work. Either to work to make sure that you still meet up with the time to give your judgment. So well, when you say, oh, whether it's going to be, because when you say it's, it may be easier for them, it means that, they are rubber stamping. They are not doing their job. They are independent of uh, whatever. So they have to, that is the reason why you see some judgment when getting to Supreme Court is a different ball game, or when getting to Court of Appeal. I mean, okay, look at what Tribunal said and look at what Court of Appeal is saying. If it's about rubber stamping, I'm sure Court of Appeal would have rubber stamped the judgment of the uh, Tribunal. And just say, okay, yes, the governor, no, nothing is wrong. Validate the, uh, I mean, the election of the governor and say, oh, he won. And that is it. But it's, it doesn't work that way. And that is why you see Supreme Court also doing their bit and doing their part, their own research, to check both sides, the tribunal judgment, and check the court of appeal, what, and probably interpret mm. then the, the, maybe the section of the constitution that are being quoted or are being used to nullify this election or to validate the election. I think it's the job of the court of, uh, Supreme Court to do that. So right. we'll wait for the verdict of the Supreme Court. <laughs> right. Um, there's been concerns also raised with regards to the invalidation of uh, votes that has been gotten so far from all of this election. And I'm wondering if it is, not, if it is high time for us to begin to beam our searchlight on political parties, their activities, their internal democracy, how, how they handle things before an election, uh, seemingly because right now it's seemingly 
undermining the, the efforts and the votes of the electorate who come out to vote on an election day. Because what you're hearing from most persons is right now, Nigerians, is okay, if the courts are now deciding for us who wins an election, why are we coming out to vote? Fantastic. I'm going to use the, um, I'm going to use Kano State example. Mm. When the judgment came from Kano, the court of appeal, what, what happened? There are three elements that in an election, that three elements must, one cannot be missing out of the three. Right. The forms, uh, the, the, the uh, ballot papers must be signed, um, stamped, yeah. and uh, sealed. Now, if one is missing, it is not valid. Tell me, who, they, they had agents, they were there watching. They had their um, electoral people, and all that happened, and over 160 something thousand votes went like that without due process. And I used an example in one of the programs. I said, look, a sportman, you play football. If you're, if you're conversant with football rules, when you, you need to score, you score with your leg, right? Mm -hmm. If you're not the keeper, yeah. you know, even the keeper cannot score with hands. He still has to score with legs. So someone now goes in and use hand to, to, uh, me, use push, hand to push the, the ball, ball in. into the net. Mm. Is that a goal? No. It is a foul. It cannot be a goal. Now, now tell me that, oh, and again, don't forget, thank God for VAR to check. Even when the referee is not clear, they will go and check and see clearly, oh, if the rules you know, uh, uh, for, yeah, were followed. Yeah. Because, look, you can't w have a trophy. You can't win if you don't do it right. So that brings us back to the politicians, brings us back to INEC. What do, you, what do you do your due diligence? Do you lecture your people? Do, you, do they know how to cast their vote? And all these things that you are supposed to follow, do you follow them? Do you do the... the because when you say... Because what I hear out there now, people that the courts are the one picking their leaders, that even they, 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 I mean, they undermine the votes of the people. No. When you don't do it right, we cannot say because we don't want to undermine, I mean, the, the struggle of the votes of our people, then what we should allow is impunity. What we should allow is whatever that is happening. And we still have a leader and will continue like that. Then where will democracy grow? And that is what we are talking about in democracy. You must have a place to seek redress. And the court is not giving anybody their leaders. The, 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 the court is not the one appointing leaders. It's not the what, what is what you have brought before the court. Mm -hmm. The court didn't come to you to say, no, that is wrong. No. You are, if you don't go to court, the court will look. It will be doing its own thing. But if you go to them to say, no, I am aggrieved, and this is not correct, the court will do its job. And that is what has happened if they have not done it right, if you do it right, I don't think court will interfere. For instance, internal democracy of the political parties, if it's, it's, uh, it's, trans it's transparent and people do the right thing, and people probably you have an election, not that you will say that, oh, you want to, because somebody likes somebody among the members, and he decides to say, oh, this is a candidate we are presenting, and you did not even allow... Uh, um, 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 what do you call it, the vote, the primaries, to go on, and you impose someone, and some people are aggrieved. Now, tell me, what has court done wrong if you impose, and the laws of your political party is even saying you should have primaries? Mm. So these are the things we tell people that, look, court is not imposing anybody on any, any group of people or any state or any country. We are the people that need to put our house in order mm -hmm. and do the right thing so we don't have to go to court.